So in today's video, we want to talk about the top six wealthiest areas or cities here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now we have taken this list and we have gotten it off of a Forbes magazine article about the top 50 wealthiest cities here in the state of Texas. But of course, Dallas-Fort Worth is its own little beast here in Texas. And so we kind of combed through the list and ran some numbers and kind of want to highlight the top six wealthiest cities areas here in the Dallas Metroplex, especially if you are looking to move and maybe you want something a little bit more on the upscale side of things. But why exactly are people moving to these areas? And if that's something that you're looking for, you want to be in a nicer part of town, you have a little bit more money to spend. We want to kind of give you why people are moving to these particular areas. Now, of course, there are multiple very well-to-do areas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, some of which are, we'll call it neighborhoods, especially in places like Dallas proper. You could have Preston Hollow and some of these other areas with some very expensive homes. But we are going to kind of focus more on some of these cities. And of course, we will dive in a little bit more on some of the surrounding cities for some of these areas as well. And if you do stick around to the end, which of course I always recommend, we are going to give some honorable mentions on some of these other cities, maybe some cities that people have asked a lot of questions about and a couple cities that maybe you haven't even heard of. So something you might want to put on your radar if some of these places might be something that you are looking for. Okay, so before we get into it, my name is Kristen Carpentier and I'm a licensed realtor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And my team and I actually specialize in relocation. We help a lot of people moving here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We relocated here ourselves almost 12 years ago now with my family and we have absolutely loved it. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because my team and I would absolutely love to help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. All right, so let's jump into it and talk about the top six wealthiest areas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And number six on, a li on our list, we are gonna start from the lowest to the highest. I mean, so many cities here around Dallas, but we are gonna start with number six, and that is going to be the city of Colleyville. Now, Colleyville is actually located, probably we'll call it just to the west of the DFW airport. So it's a great location if you maybe want to get over to, maybe you work in Fort Worth or Dallas, and you are not completely out in the boondocks, and yet you have a very nice, high quality of living with some gorgeous homes in the Colleyville area. Colleyville is also just south of the city of South Lake, which we will get to a little bit further along in this video. And it is, like I said, gonna take you about 30 minutes to get to Dallas, maybe about only 15 minutes to get to Fort Worth. Pretty convenient if you wanna get down to the city of Arlington because you're a huge Cowboys fan, maybe that's why you're moving here to Texas. And it is just really centrally located super easy and convenient to get to the freeway and your shopping and everything that you might need to do within the city of Colleyville. Now, the population of Colleyville is almost around 26,000 people and there's over 9,000 households within the city of Colleyville. Now, the median home price in the city of Colleyville as of the 2021 census, which is technically where these figures came from in this Forbes magazine article, but we do want to kind of give you an updated version of what we're seeing in prices of homes as of 2023. And the median home price in 2021 was around $586,000. And the median home price in 2023 is just over $900,000. But prices in Colleyville are much higher. You can, you can find homes and we'll call it the $500,000 range, but you can also find homes upwards of over $5 million. You can find some gorgeous properties with acreage right in the city limits of Colleyville. And to be able to find land not super far on the outskirts of the Dallas-Fort Worth area is really hard to come by these days. And so obviously you'll be paying a premium for the location, but currently there are multiple properties with quite a bit of land currently available in the Colleyville area. You're just going to be paying a premium for them. Now, when we're talking about school ratings, the people, the majority of people that live in the city of Colleyville are going to be going to Grapevine Colleyville Independent School District. Of course, there are small portions that do feed into the HEB School District as well as Keller and a couple of, you know, kind of 
Carol ISD and Grapevine as well. But of course, those are just very minimal and the majority will be going to the Grapevine Colleyville Independent School District. And currently with the new niche.com uh, ratings that came out, they just came out for 2024 and Grapevine Colleyville is ranked as number two for the best public school district here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So if that's something that you're looking for, great schools in a great location is certainly going to be desirable for people moving to the city of Colleyville. Now, why else are people moving to Colleyville? Well, obviously because of location, but what else do people do in Colleyville? Now, because it does border South Lake on the South side, there's a lot of great shopping and restaurants and things within not too far away from the city of Colleyville. So it does make it really easy to be able to get your shopping done. You can get to the airport easily. And a lot of people want to live in Colleyville because of the location. Now I will say every time I have gone down to Colleyville, if I'm showing property or if I'm headed to a meeting or meeting with clients, I love driving through Colleyville. It has some gorgeous tree lined streets and because it's a little bit older, you have a lot better established neighborhoods. So that is a huge draw. It seems every time I go down there, it doesn't matter where you're going. You are just driving down some gorgeous, gorgeous streets with gorgeous homes and you can see acreage. You can see people who have horses. And it's just nice to be able to see that right within the city and not being super far outside into maybe some of the ranch land that is here in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So of course you'll be paying a premium for location, but that's what a lot of people are drawn to by living in the city of Colleyville. Now we're gonna get into number five on our list, wealthiest areas to live here in the Dallas, Texas Metroplex. And we are combining two particular cities kind of because they have a lot of similarities and not to mention the schools and those kinds of things. So we are going to combine for number five, Parker and Lucas. Now, not as many people have heard of Parker and Lucas. Now, the location of Parker and Lucas are going to be on the east side of the city of Allen, so east of the 75 freeway, and it's going to be west of Lake Lebon. And if everybody's kind of knowing where Frisco is because Frisco's growing so much here in Dallas, it's going to be around 20 miles to the east of Frisco. And if you do work down in Dallas, to get from the Parker Lucas area is going to be around 26 to 30 miles, depending on where you're located, to get down into downtown Dallas. But of course, if you need to get over to the DFW airport, that's gonna be around 35 miles. So just kind of depending on what time of day you're going, because of course traffic around here can be crazy during rush hour. You never know how long that's gonna take, but all in all, no traffic, around 35 miles to get to the DFW airport. And of course, with the DFW Metroplex being quite large, you never know how long it's gonna to take to get from one side to the other, because of course, Parker and Lucas is gonna be a little bit more on the eastern outskirts of town. Obviously, you can get further east, but it could take you a little bit longer, say you need to get over to Fort Worth and the west side of the city of Fort Worth. So just something to think about for location. Now, when we are talking about population, when you combine those two cities, you're around 13,000 people living in both of those cities combined and around 3,700 households. But the income living over in the Parker Lucas area is gonna be around 160 to $175,000 per year. So people over there are making a little bit more money as well. Now, the median home price back in 2021, according to this Forbes article, was around $700,000. And currently, as of the end of 2023, the median home price is just over a million dollars for people living in those particular cities. But out in the Parker Lucas area, you are going to find a lot of homes with acreage. Now, the majority of the homes, granted, there's a few that are not like that, a couple small little neighborhoods within those city limits that aren't as big, but the majority of homes out in the Parker Lucas area are going to be a minimum of at least an acre or two. So if you want land and you want it not too far outside the city on the east side, the Parker Lucas area could be fantastic. We have gone out there multiple times and every time I drive through there, it's almost like being back in the day of people having their cattle ranches and just the long winding roads and it just really makes you feel like you're right out in the country. But of course, you can head over into the city of Allen up along the 75 where there is a ton of commercial 
um, shopping and restaurants and all of a sudden you travel 10 minutes to the east and you just feel like you have gone into another world where you are just suddenly out in the country looking at these beautiful sprawling homes on these beautiful acre lots and it's absolutely stunning. We really do love the Parker Lucas area. It's just one of our favorites when we have gone out there looking at properties and if that's something that you're looking for, it could be a fantastic location. Now, the schools that feed into the Parker, the city of Parker and Lucas is going to be the Lovejoy School District. Now, of course, like I said, the school ratings have come out. The Lovejoy School District occasionally gets number one according to, on the niche.com list of the best school districts to be in, and currently it is number five. But all in all, people love the school district. People have wanted to move out to specifically be within the Lovejoy School District. And just something to think about, everybody loves the schools, they're highly rated, and there is a lot to offer within the Lovejoy Independent School District. There is only that one high school out there, but also depending on where you're at in Parker and Lucas, it could feed into the Allen ISD, McKinney ISD, as well as Plano ISD. So just small little portions of that could feed into some of these other school districts. Also, there is a huge master plan community that has gone in out there called Inspiration, and that's going to actually feed into the Wiley Independent School District. So of course, depending on where you're at, depending on what you're looking for, and maybe you want a little bit more land because you love the wide open spaces, the Parker Lucas area could be a great fit for you as well. But you can find homes upwards of multiple millions of dollars, and that's why people are moving there because of the prices of homes, the quality of homes, and not everybody wants to live right on top of each other. So Parker Lucas, number five on our list. Now on to number four on our list for top wealthiest areas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is going to be the city of South Lake. Now there are a lot of people who would probably want to argue saying that they love South Lake and South Lake should be ranked number one, but we are going through with the numbers according to this Forbes article and not everybody is quite as wealthy in South Lake as they are in a few of these other areas. Now where South Lake is located, it's going to be super close just on the west side of the DFW airport. Depending on where you're at in South Lake, you could be to the airport in 10, 15 minutes top. So super convenient if you are traveling a lot and need to have access to the DFW airport. And if you need to get to downtown Dallas, that's gonna be about 30 minutes and also about 30 minutes to get to downtown Fort Worth. So it really is centrally located. I've talked to multiple people who have had friends or family members that one goes one way and one goes the other way. And South Lake is just a great location for both opportunities. So people love living in South Lake and it has many reasons why it's a fantastic area to live. It's also going to be just south of Lake Grapevine. So if you love the lake, if you love to be able to do things on the lake or around the lake, if you like hiking and horseback riding, you have those opportunities in the city of South Lake as well. Now, when we're talking about population, the population of the city of South Lake is around 30,000 people, and there's only around 9,000 households in the city of South Lake. And the current median income is around $240,000. But when we're talking about prices of homes, the median price of homes when this article came out was around $723,000 back in 2021. But currently, as of 2023, the median home price is $1.3 million. I used to kind of say that it was around 1.2, but pulling the current data for the end of 2023, which is when I'm shooting this video, the current price point of homes is just had just creeped over 1.3 million dollars and biggest reason why so many people are wanting to move to south lake especially if they have kids and kids going to school is because of the number one ranked uh carroll independent school district so it's super desirable if you know anything about the carroll dragons and how many People want to live there and have their kids go to the Carroll Independent School District. It just really is a way of life over in the city of South Lake. People love the schools. There is so much school spirit. And from what I understand, it is the only, we'll call it, high school independent school district that has trademarked their logo. So Carroll Dragons is just a thing 
to just become a part of if you do or do not have children living in the city of South Lake. So when we're talking about why so many people want to move to South Lake, obviously it's because of the fantastic schools, especially if your kids are in sports are, or are super smart or involved in any sort of activities, Carol has something for everyone. Their schools have some phenomenal programs and that's why so many people want their kids to be able to go to that particular school district. But also it really is known for its location. If you want easy access to get over to the 114 freeway, you want easy access to get to the airport, and not to mention, there is a lot of shopping. You have South Lake Town Square right in the middle of the city of South Lake. You have your central market. You have tons of shopping, tons of restaurants, and it's almost like everything you need to do can be done right within the city limits. And you have some beautiful neighborhoods with some great opportunities for um, community involvement right in South Lake, the sports programs for your kids, the the things that you can do outside, if you're into outdoor activities, if you're into golfing, there really is something for anyone who is living in South Lake. So with kids, without kids, South Lake has been super desirable for a lot of people who want to move here to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now on to number three for the top wealthiest areas to live here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Now we are combining two more cities for very good reason, and that is going to be Highland Park and University Park. Now we are combining those. They are slightly different, but not so much, but mainly for the fact that they are their own particular individual cities, but surrounded by the city of Dallas. And if anybody knows anything about the particular location of both of these cities, they know why it is super desirable and why it is so wealthy. Now Highland Park and University Park are just truly just fantastic locations, especially if you want to be within the city of Dallas. If you want location to downtown, if that is just where you spend all of your time, if so much shopping, so many restaurants, and you just really love more of that hustle and bustle of life by living closer to the downtown area of Dallas. Now, Highland Park and University Park, a lot of people used to say that the Highland Park School District was ranked number one and would always stay number one. In fact, I've heard that from multiple people who have lived there or who have wanted to move to Highland Park or actually a couple people in particular who used to live in the Highland Park area and how phenomenal the Highland Park School District is. But so many people want to live within the city limits of Highland Park or University Park in order to be able to get their kids into the schools there. In fact, if you do not live within school boundaries, from what I've heard, they are not really going to want to be doing anything to get you in. Obviously, it's all about how you pay your taxes and where you need to live and what gets supported to the school. But it is very family involved, parent involved, and a lot of people just really cater to wanting to make sure that they have the best for their kids if they're living in the Highland Park and University Park area. But also when we're talking about location, it is only about, six, when you look at kind of where the location is, it's only around six miles or so to the heart of downtown Dallas. But in the University Park area, that's where you have SMUs, uh, Southern Methodist University, which is a fantastic private university and right in the hub of the Dallas area. So hence why the University Park name because of SMU being within the city of University Park. But also when you are living downtown and we actually, we have multiple airports here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and Love Field, which is downtown Dallas, is just to the west of Highland Park. So catching a plane and maybe a private airline, maybe you're on Southwest Airlines. Not everybody loves Southwest Airlines because they want to pick their seats, but Love Field is right there next to Highland Park. So you do have access to an additional airport and you do not always have to drive up to the DFW airport. But if you have to, that's only going to be about a 20 minute drive because with the DFW airport, you can head to the north entrance or the south entrance. So getting in through the south entrance, if you're coming from the Highland Park and University Park area, makes it a lot easier if you do need to fly out of the DFW airport. Now, when we're talking about the population of Highland Park and University Park, again, I am combining both cities. The population is currently over 55,000 people. But of course, that's because having the university right there as well. And there are currently over 10,000 households in those particular cities. 
And the current income for people who live in Highland Park and University Park, the median income is $240,000. There will be a lot of people who will say the income is probably consider considerably higher for people living in those particular areas. I'm just going off of what the research says for the median income in those particular cities. And the median home price in 2021, this is for University Park. Of course, these numbers are going to be slightly different uh, for University Park and Highland Park. University Park median price point in 2021 was around $1.3 million. And for Highland Park, it was $1.5 million. And the median home price as of 2023 for University Park is $2.3 million. And the median home price in Highland Park is around $3 million. So obviously in the last couple of years, home prices have gone up quite a bit in those two cities. And the Highland Park Independent School District is currently rated number six. So I'm not quite sure where Niche comes up with all of these numbers and how they do change because quite often you see uh, South Lake Carroll and Highland Park switching between one and two but currently it's dropped to number six for whatever reason. But if you do go look at any of the ratings on greatschools.org or niche.com, you will see that it is given a rating of an A+. So obviously do your research if that is something that is important to you. Now, why are so many people wanting to move to the Highland Park and University Park area? Well, a lot of people love living downtown. And they want that access to be able to get to downtown. Not everybody wants that those big, long commutes. But some of my favorite things about University Park and Highland Park is you have everything at your fingertips. If you want high-end shopping, you have Highland Park Village. It is just the cutest little shopping area. It's not very big, but you're very, very high-end shopping right there in the little village area with some fantastic restaurants. Also, I mean, obviously, I don't really do a whole lot of shopping down there. It is can, it is quite expensive, but there are some things that, we, and we have gone down and done a little bit of shopping down there. We've eaten, re, we've eaten at the restaurants down there before. So, but the majority of people, it's just a whole other, it's just a whole other world down in the Highland Park Village area. But you do also have North Park Mall just up the street, not too far away, which is probably one of my favorite malls here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It still has a lot of high-end shopping, but you do have your everyday stores there as well. So lots of great stores, high-end, low-end, everything in between at North Park Mall, which is super close to the Highland Park and University Park area. Also, the people who are going to be living in Highland Park and University Park are probably going to be joining the Dallas Country Club, which is another phenomenal private country club down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. and But you do have access to that with a beautiful golf course. And if you want to be part of the country club lifestyle, you are going to be able to find that right in the heart of the Dallas area. But when you're thinking of your shopping and your dining, there are, in fact, I had a couple clients who had reached out considering um, moving to the area, they had family that were living in the Highland Park area, and they knew that the restaurants were just right at their fingers, fingertips. They could be out to dinner and back home within minutes if they needed to. So something that was super desirable is just being able to have your little boutiques, have all of your restaurants, and just still be involved in the nightlife that Dallas has to offer and not having that too far away. There's a lot of great neighborhoods in Dallas, and when you're living down in Highland Park and University Park, you have great access to be able to get to there. Not to mention when you are driving around, you have Turtle Creek um, Park and the beautiful trees and the Katy Trail. If you wanna be outside and enjoying nature, there's just something that you can't get in so many of these other neighborhoods because these neighborhoods are so well established down in Highland Park and University Park, and it's absolutely stunning. I have gone down there when I have met clients or had to run some errands, let's say, or gone shopping, and there are just so many dreamy streets that you can drive up and down in the Highland Park area. Not to mention at Christmas time, it is our most favorite place to go look at Christmas lights, driving through the streets of Highland Park and University Park. So during the holidays, don't forget to check that one out. Now, number two on our list is going to take us a little bit further out, gonna be completely different, but so many people forget to think about the Fort Worth area and the amount of money that comes out of Fort Worth. 
And number two on our list of the top wealthiest areas here, according to Forbes magazine, is going to be Westover Hills. Now, I will admit, I hadn't actually completely heard of Westover Hills. I actually thought it was more of just like a neighborhood, kind of like you hear about Preston Hollow in Dallas. And Westover Hills is right in the heart of Fort Worth, but it's its own individual city. It's located about four and a half miles straight to the west of downtown Fort Worth, and it only has a population of 804. So it's a very tiny little city within a city. It only has 329 households. So quite small, not very many houses, yet it's still its own specific city. The income for people that live in Westover Hills is around $245,000, the median income. And the median home price, when this article took its information from back in 2021, it was $1.6 million. And two years later, at the end of 2023, the median home price is $2.2 million in Westover Hills. Now, this is probably the downside that some people will want to comment on, and that's the fact that when you live in Westover Hills, you are part of the Fort Worth Independent School District. And not so many people think very highly of the Fort Worth Independent School District. Obviously, Fort Worth is a huge city and it completely depends on where you live. But from the people that I've talked to and everybody that knows the Fort Worth area, if you're living in Westover Hills, your children are probably going to go to a private school. So something to think about if that's important to you. If you're living in Westover Hills, you're most likely going to be sending your children to private schools and you can probably afford it. But I will, but if you do go and do the research on Fort Worth Independent School District and the particular schools that do feed into Westover Hills, that is going to be Harling, like for example, Arlington Heights High School. And according to niche.com, that does get a B plus rating. So just another thing to do your research if for if Westover Hills is going to be on your list. Now, why would a lot of people want to move to the Westover Hills area? Why is it so desirable? Well, of course, a lot of people do actually work in downtown Fort Worth. And if you have a lot of money, if you're in finance or maybe you're in oil and gas, um, obviously a lot of businesses are in the downtown Fort Worth area. Westover Hills could be a fantastic area to live in. It is its own incorporated city that has its own town hall, city council, it has its own police department, and it also has lower property taxes than some of the other nearby neighborhoods in the city of Fort Worth. But it also is yet another little quiet community. It's its own little city and you have the ability to get out and enjoy the beautiful nature and walking around some of those beautiful rolling hills that are going to be Westover Hills. You also have a lot of access to get to some of the shopping and dining in downtown Fort Worth and a lot of the activities. You're not too far from the stockyards. And I mean, if barbecue is your thing, there are some fantastic restaurants in downtown Fort Worth, which I guess I probably shouldn't say only in Fort Worth. There's fantastic barbecue restaurants and everything all around the Dallas area, but we have found quite a few of them down in the Fort Worth area. Now, number one on our list is going to be the city of Westlake. Now you have South Lake, you have Westlake, you actually have North Lake too, but Westlake was ranked number one for the wealthiest cities here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, according to this Forbes article. It was actually not ranked number one for the entire state of Texas, but here in the Dal Dallas Fort Worth area, it was pretty much number one on the list. Now South Lake is going to border the 114 freeway. It just is the 114 freeway runs along the north side of the city of Westlake. And on the north side of the 114 is going to be the city of Trophy Club. Then you also have South Lake right there and Lake Grapevine. But Westlake is going to be a little bit to the west of South Lake. And you're going to have great access to the 114 freeway. Now, the population is currently at 1,374 people with only 441 households. So again, it's another small, smaller city here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And the median income is around $250,000. Of course, a lot of people are going to say that's not very much for the people that live in the city of Westlake. And yes, we do know some people who make considerably more than that. I'm just throwing out what the median income told me according to our research. 
Now, the median home price in 2021, when the Forbes article uh, was researched, was $1.9 million. But the median home price as of 2023 is now at $3.6 million. Now, when you are going to visit the city of Westlake, it's one of those areas where you're not going to have a lot of your houses right along the street. You're going to have a lot of homes that are going to be behind some beautiful wrought iron gates, um, neighborhoods that are uh, that have guards and gates and are very difficult to get into. And you're going to have a lot more land by living in Westlake compared to the price point that you're going to find down in the Highland Park area. In fact, people have said you drive down Highland Park and you're going to have these multi-million dollar homes right there on the street, right next to each other. Not everybody really has a lot of land by da being down in the Highland Park and University Park area, but in Westlake, you are going to have a lot more land and a lot more space. There's a little bit, we'll, we'll call it rolling flat land in Westlake because we don't really have mountains here in Texas. And the rolling flat land out there is going to be beautiful and very scenic. And these homes are just going to have some stunning views. If you drive through the city of Westlake, the schools are phenomenal. And the majority of kids that do live in Westlake, they do feed into the Carroll ISD. But you also have Westlake Academy right in the heart of Westlake. And it is a private school. And a lot of people send their kids to Westlake Academy. You also have the Vaquero Country Club which is right in the heart of Westlake, and it is quite difficult to become a member. There's waiting lists for it, but if you do buy a home, there's a way to um, transfer ownership to get into the country club, but you do also have to be approved by the members. So it is quite exclusive and just very desirable and very hard to get into if you're going to be new to the area. But we do have it in Westlake, and it is a super fantastic area if that is something that you are looking to do. So Westlake was number one on our list, and now we're getting into the honorable mentions. Now, we can't really shoot this video without talking about, this is gonna be our first honorable mention, and that's going to be the city of Prosper. Now, a lot of people are thinking, is that really the wealthiest city? And it's probably not the wealthiest city, obviously, but it was on the Forbes list. And the main reason why is that it is growing and some of these neighborhoods are just multi-million dollar homes. Even in new uh, master plan communities are, high, are very expensive to get in. And so many homes are well in the million dollar range and upwards. So a lot of money is being pumped into the Prosper area because of the school districts and what is coming. And a lot of people like that newness about it. So Prosper is further outside of the city, it's way far north, it's north of the Frisco area, and it could certainly be a hike if you're needing to get down to the Dallas area, but a lot of money, a lot of growth, and a lot of fantastic master plan communities are going in up there, and a lot of those new homes are going to be extremely expensive, and hence why we wanted to throw that one on our list. Now, number two on our list is going to be the city of Bartonville. And not very many people have actually heard of Bartonville. Bartonville's kind of growing, but Bar Bartonville has really always kind of been known for having farmland and ranch land. And when you drive through there and you see the amount of homes with tons of acreage and lots of space, that's what a lot of people want, but it's not too far outside the city. It's going to be not too far away from the city of Argyle, um, the city of Lantana, uh, Double Oak, Flower Mound, Copper Canyon, and some of those areas, if you kind of know where those are at, <clears throat> on the north side of Grapevine Lake. But we did want to highlight it just because of the money and the acreage. And if you really want farm and ranch land, Bartonville is kind of like this little kept secret. There's a little bit of commercial that has come in. You have a Kroger out there. You have some restaurants that have come in, and they're technically in the city limits of Bartonville that not many people really kind of realize that that is where it's at. It does border Lantana on, we'll call it the southwest side. So lots of growth out there if you want acreage, if you have horses, there's some phenomenal horse facilities out there and it just is a great wide open area. And the median income for people who are living in Bartonville are, is going to be around $120,000. And the median price of homes is around $1.4 million, but currently listed in the city of Bartonville, homes are averaging between $1.6 and $3.9 million. 
But living in Bartonville, the majority of homes, not 100% of them, just the majority, are going to have at least two acres, if not five acres of land by living out in Bartonville. We have gotten so many calls for people who have said, I want acreage, I don't want to live way out in the boonies, but I want just some land. I'm coming from California and there's no land to be had out here in the LA or Orange County area. And I want land not too far outside the city. And Bartonville could be a great option if your price point is a little bit higher. So farm and ranch land, horses, even if you don't have horses and you just want that wide open space, Bartonville could be a great option. And the population of Bartonville is around 1,700 people. And there's currently about 607 households within the city, city limits of Bartonville. The majority of the kids that live in Bartonville are going to go to Argyle ISD, which is currently ranked the number seven independent school district here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But a few of them are going to feed into the Denton ISD as well. Now, number three on our list for the honorable mention cities with regards to the price of homes and the wealthiest areas to live in, and that is going to be the city of Copper Canyon. Now, actually, Copper Canyon is not too far from the city of Bartonville. Copper Canyon is part of the Louisville Independent School District, the majority of it. Some of it does feed into the Denton ISD. And Louisville, the, ranking, the rankings have just changed there, and that is currently ranked at number 16, but they're all given A-plus ratings according to Niche.com. And the income for people living in Copper Canyon is around $180,000, and homes are averaging with a median price point of around $1.3 million. And they can go anywhere from around $900,000 for your small little property, upwards of over $5 million for, for multiple acres, and yet more farm and ranch land. You can drive along 407 up in the Copper Canyon Flower Mound area and you can see the cattle and the longhorn steers right there along a lot of those roadways. So we still have those ranches here not too far outside the city limits and one of those cities is Copper Canyon that is on the border that is going to be on the border of Highland Village and the city of Flower Mound as well. Now there are a couple of small master plan communities that have just come into the Copper Canyon area, but the prices of those homes are still now over a million dollars. They may not have the acreage for that most of the properties have in the city limits of Copper Canyon, but they still have the price point. So Copper Canyon does have those higher price points and people who are just trying to get in for a little bit more space and not wanting to have those homes right on top of each other and be in a smaller master plan community. And the current population for people living in Copper Canyon is around 1,900 people with 735 households. So again, another small city with a high price point. So the community has really tried to keep it a small, close-knit community and really try to stay to the true nature of that farm and ranch land and the wide open spaces in the city of Copper Canyon. We have multiple friends that live up there and love their horse properties and just love the quiet nature of the city of Copper Canyon. So yet another area to think of when moving here to the Dallas area. So we have touched on the top six wealthiest areas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex with a few of our own personal honorable mentions as well. So if you have any questions at all, if you are thinking of moving to one of these wealthy areas here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you have any questions at all, if you want land, if you just have a healthy budget, or if you just want a little bit more information in living one of these areas and maybe not being on the high end of the price point of some of these homes, there are some great neighborhoods just on the outskirts of a lot of these areas. There are still some phenomenal very, very desirable areas that people are wanting to move here to the Dallas, Texas area. And if you have any questions at all, again, my name is Kristen and I would love to help answer those questions. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, let me know how I can help you make that smooth move here to the Dallas, Texas area. And until next time, take care.